Hi, I've recently called, uh, got hold of Ableton Live on my machine <coughs> and I've been playing around with Sonic Pi just to see how easy it is to interface the two together and I must say I'm quite pleased with what you can achieve without too much effort. Uh, making use of some of the Max Live uh, additions to Ableton Live, um, I'm using here um, a multi-synth which is in the uh, Max Live Essentials package and also in the live connection kit there is um, a device which lets you connect to TouchOSC. Now I'm not using TouchOSC here, I'm using Sonic Pi just to send OSC messages and I tried out to see if it would work and uh, I'm glad to say that it does. Um, one thing just about this, when I um, drag in the um, TouchOSC device from here um, it actually comes up with an error saying that it requires Java and I haven't got a suitable Java installed um, but that doesn't seem to make any difference to what I'm using it for so I just uh, um, acknowledged the error message and ignored it. Um, so how does this actually work? Well we've got uh, this synth setup uh, it's actually about five uh, six different ones all in one I'm using this one here that produces a pattern of notes you can adjust the speed at which this pattern runs. Uh, you can adjust um, various other features of it which I'm not actually using in this particular um, video. Um, but what I am doing is to adjust the speed of which the note pattern plays, the volume output of the synth, the attack and release settings. And that's done by setting up four different uh, OSC messages which are going to come from Sonic Pi. Um, to do this uh, you actually uh, have to send the OSC message from Sonic Pi with this in learn mode and I do this by having a little live loop which I've actually got um, disabled at the moment but if I put that into play here like that this was for setting up the release setting so if we were just to um, delete all of that entirely. Um, can I get rid of that? Yeah. Uh, I get to put this into learn mode and I get to start Sonic Pi playing. It's going to send to the localhost. Don't, incidentally, don't use localhost here because you don't want it to go to Sonic Pi itself, but to another program on the same machine. So you need to put the actual IP address. 7091 was the default um, port which this had. It has a sort of host setting here which I don't know where it's from. It looks, um, but, but if I click on that it seems to connect OK to here. If we start that running you can see that there's something coming in and the learn has picked up this particular message. So if we stop that running now and I simply get rid of that um, the comment out that live loop, um, we make sure we take the learn button off so it doesn't learn anything else and then we click on the map button and I'm going to map this one to the release parameter by simply clicking on that that's then mapped to that, you see it stopped flashing and now we've got all four of those active and so they're all going to respond to OSC messages coming in from Sonic Pi so what does the program do? well it essentially um, I turned off the MIDI logging so that we don't clutter up the log um, I've got a variable kill all which I've set to false which I'm going to use to stop the program at the end. Um, this live loop called speedo is going to send uh, an OSC message to live speed with a random number in the range 0 0.2 to 0 0.8. Uh, effectively the slider is in the range 0 to 1 um, and so that's going to set something from about 20% up to 80% of the range that we've got there and that's going to go to M2 which is the second variable across here which is the speed one. Um, I'm setting up initial values for the attack 0.2 and the release 0.1 and then I've got um, uh, setting the volume initially to zero because of what I'm doing in a little thread here is to slowly fade up the volume um, slowly to one increasing in steps of 0 0.05 with 0 0.1 per second between each iteration and at 60 into the program I get to fade it out again and then set the kill all to true 
turn off the audio, live audio in, and that should stop the program uh, because that kill all is going to stop all the other live loops which uh, are going to be running. Actually, I've not stopped the volume one there. I've just um, no, actually, that that's not a thread. That's just a thread. I'll just do it once. Then we have um, a live loop which I call Doodle, and that's simply going to choose notes from a minor pentatonic scale. It's going to create a chord of each of those notes, uh, choose a duration, and then for each of the notes in the chord, it's going to send out a MIDI um, note with that uh, sustained value. Um, I'm sleeping for half the duration of the note, and then I'm adjusting the attack and the release time um, every four notes for the attack and every eight notes for the release. I put it in the middle of that to try and cut down any sharp glitches. It's not entirely satisfactory, but it's pretty good. Um, it's going to stop the route when the kill all is set. And then we've got the audio in, which is going to come from the output of um, Ableton through my... Um, um, and actually, it's going to be set to come there via a little program called Loopback, so the output of this automatically goes from here into Sonic Pi. It's a stereo input, and I'm putting some compression on it with some amplification and some G-verb. So let's see what the whole thing does when we start it up. Uh, here we go. See the volume going up? This is the attack, release changes, and the speed changes. volume and that's the end. So there we have the program. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, we could just manually change one or two of the other settings there. If we change the morph up which produces a sort of filtering effect. We set it there. It'll sound just slightly different if I start it up again. Um, here goes. And we could just add uh, another live loop and, and uh, another set of OSC messages coming in to change the morph setting uh, as it's running. So there's countless possibilities with this and uh, I'm quite pleased with the way that the two are linking up together. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I'll just stop this uh, before we get to the end by doing it the hard way.